Hi everybody, and welcome to the channel. A lot of people have been asking how I process and grade footage. So today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step in Premiere Pro, which will be the exact same formula for any other editing application. We'll go through the process of using LUX, and we'll go through a noise reduction process. Here is the before and after video, which I'll show you how to get from the picture on the left to the picture on the right. And if there is any other questions you'd like to ask, please message in the comments below. For future videos, press the subscribe button now and stay connected. So let's get started and load up your footage into your timeline. Firstly, drop an adjustment layer above your footage. We go to the top to the color panel. We are now in the Lumetri color panel and what we're going to do is load up the Spectrum Grades preset lights. I use these lights because they ease up my workflow and create unique original cinematic looks that are otherwise quite hard to achieve unless you're a color specialist. So now with this we do some basic adjustments to fine tune our look and to get the style that we want. We balance out the image with not pushing the highlights too high and the shadows too dark. As you can see, we're stretching out the image to get a nice dynamic contrasty image. Next, we're going to load up the Neat Video Noise Reduction Plugin. We place this before the Lumetri Color Panel. Remember, this will happen with any editing program. We then open up our interface, we go to our profile and we load up a noise profile for the Mavic which will be in the description below if you need to download it. As you can see we'll zoom up to 400%, analyze the noise reduction, the before and after, we'll zoom out a little bit and you'll see the results. This will give us a lot cleaner image to work with and once the grade is processed on top of the noise reduction it will look a lot better as you can see the noise reduction before and after this footage is done at 2.7k which i believe is the optimal resolution to work with when it comes to the mavic now that this is in a 2.7k resolution we are now going to upscale it to 4k this will be our last step in the process. Next, we'll create a new sequence and we'll choose a 4K resolution 25p. We are now going to take our 2.7K graded footage into the 4K timeline. And then we're going to upscale it to, to 4K within the timeline. You can do this with the standard scale feature or you can use a plugin such as Instant 4K. I now select the resolution that I want the footage to be in, put it all on the highest settings possible with maximum quality and maximum anti-aliasing. Then do a quick render and there we have our 4K footage which has been graded, denoised and upscaled to look as cinematic as possible. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer your questions as soon as possible. Thank you very much.